ain't hitting right though. I never said that I would spend the night though. Now why you mad for? You know how it go. And if I ever wrote I love you shit, that must have been a typo. Now you know iPhone series, she be correcting niggas. You write a message, it be different by the time you send it. Now why you acting, boy? You knew I was savage. I told you from the gate. Sip my drink, sip my drink. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is JC Honey back at it again with another video, and today I will be attempting to do box braids on my hair. But I decided to attempt to do this today just because I have a time and like why not? Because I haven't been posting much, and also I just get tired of doing normal straight. No more braids, no more curls on my hair. I just want something different. And I feel like if I do box braids, it's going to motivate me to get ready more often, not just Saturdays and Sundays. Because you really need to. Um, so today, I went and I went by my local uh, beauty uh, supply store. I'll actually put the name of the beauty uh, store I went to down here and I'll link it down below. Rust Afri braid for the people base and silky braid color 280 as you guys can tell. And I actually don't even know how long this is. We're just gonna go with it because like why not? Um, um, as you guys can tell I am gonna be putting a clip Right here of what I'm gonna be using. this morning I didn't really do much to it just because I get lazy and I always run out of time hey. look at this look at all the and just a disclaimer I am no pro at this I'm just an amateur I'm trying to learn. Um, I eventually want to get better. Um, but so far, I think I have a pretty good understanding on how to do them. I just never tried it on my hair because I'm too scared. With the comb that I showed previously and the mirror, we're going to attempt to braid my hair hair or separate it into parts because I will be using or doing the rubber band method and I want my part to be half way that way so we're gonna leave this hair for last we're gonna separate it and put it to the side so this doesn't get messed up with any of the lines in the back. Like so. And we'll do the same on this side. I think I might get some difficulties is trying to get my lines even on the back so i'm gonna attempt to do a straight line down like so okay i'm gonna put half of it away so i can fix the line and figure out where it needs to be fixed by using my second mirror so this is what I'll be doing. I'll be sitting this way because I have another mirror right there. And I'm going to grab it and then I'm going to see where I messed up. And so far, to me, it 
looks kind of straight starting from right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my mirror and I'm going to see where it starts to like move to the side and then just go straight down like so. See what I fixed? And then I'll grab it to the side with the rest of the other hair and then look at it again. And it looks looks alright for me. So now I'm gonna grab it and tie it with the rest of them. With the rest of the other half. So then I can start doing my parts. Okay, then we're gonna part it like a hot dog, or I think it's mostly like a hamburger style, starting from right here to behind or the top of my ear. So now we're just working with this little half bottom right here and we're going to attempt to do I believe four braids four, three to four braids doing the the hair tie method is because I YouTubed a lot of YouTube videos and it just seems like it's easier for someone who is starting to do these type of hair situations on the hair and I'm going to tie it too tight but just enough to where it holds my hair and remember you guys want to leave enough hair for enough braids and at this point I'm just eyeballing the hair situation to be honest interruptions hopefully okay let's see now that I have one of the mirror that way We're going to attempt to figure out what in the world we are doing. Okay, well that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Like I said guys, this is all a learning process for all of us. I'm just recording this because you literally have no life. I want to know what the hell I'm doing. You know what I mean? I'm going to use more edge control. Okay, and then we're going to secure that area with the hair tie, like so. Like so. 
and we're gonna separate them like so and because I don't want the bottom to be super harsh so what we're gonna do is pull all the way apart put in the back and it gives like the like a layer effect to the bottom like so and let's see if I get this straight on we're gonna start with the first one right here so we're gonna grab it we're gonna twist it in like if I'm doing a braid and then I'm gonna go and start off my braid okay like so and then as I'm doing this I'm gonna be grabbing a little bit of hair strand from one of the sides and I'm gonna go and do a braid see what I mean and then I'll do the same for the other and then I'm gonna attempt to take all the knots because this is not knot free hair and then I'm gonna attempt to continue to braid the hair like so until, until all three hair strands are even and as I'm doing this I'm gonna be grabbing the this little paste and I'm gonna scoop this much on my nail and I'm gonna warm it up in my hand and I'm gonna put it on all three strands so it doesn't freeze up okay and then I'll get no flyaways do it like so Sorry if I'm looking sideways, I have a mirror that goes that way. And for example, don't do this. This is a no no, you're wasting hair. But you you you're learning so as I'm learning. So just don't do what I do, or what I did, not comb the hair down. And we're going to grab some more of that paste, like so, and we're going to warm it up. And we're going to put it on all three of the little strands and we're doing it and doing it and doing it again and you want to make sure that you are putting enough of the little paste down so you don't have any flyaways like I did on this one because it's important for it to look neat like so
looking good. Since I have a round face and I'm just cursed with a double chin, I just won't want to go away. And at this point, I'm going to grab some of this um, edge control honey type of thing, or stage off, and I'm going to put it on the bottom of the ends, all the way, so it is staying please. You know? You know. And we're going to bring it all the way to the bottom. I think for being my first braid, I think it came out nice. I think I kind of learned my lesson with the edge control and the paste. Make sure you're doing it all the way through. What I'm just going to do so I can make it look a little bit more realistic, I'm going to put a little rubber band at the end. Just because, like, um... I'm going to keep these on for a couple of days and then uh, I'm going to see if I can reuse the hair. And for being my first strand of a braid, I don't think it looks that bad. You can definitely tell that I did it on my own. <sighs> oh well, let's go into braid number two. too late for me to take them off because I have to work in the morning. <laughs> I mean, you guys can say I attempted to do this. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this for, but yeah, so. I hope you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. It's just really weird, but right now I have it in a half point, so I still have to damp my ends in hot water so they can like stick um, together. Other than that, it is what it is and I guess I'll have to experiment and try to figure out if I like them or not. Um, yeah, it's really weird. But yeah, so see you guys next time in my next video. Bye. This one nigga in my life, he's fucking honest. I love him cause he's everything I wanted